Hey there folks, this is GooniaXI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. This is episode 36. In last episode we found out that Tidus was a dream after beating Seymour for the third time. And that was about all that happened really. <laughs> we got a new quest for Kimari later on as well. Now we're going on to part 2 of Mount Gagazette where you can find some more enemies to capture. You can't capture them out on the mountain that I know of. This is one of them, Lord Ochu. Magigora. Oh, okay, got that one a bit long. But we've seen Okshu before in the... Uh, I keep on to call it Kokiri Forest. <laughs> Kilka Forest, that's the one. So, it's pretty much the same thing, but more damaging and all that sort of stuff. Ooh, a few remedies, that's nice. It can do some really nasty status ailments, so this guy can. So what I'm going to do is just attack with everyone. I need to get the capture weapons back on Valheel, and I thought he would. I did not so much HP yet. Yeah, how much this. was it? 20 odd thousand? 20 thousand odd, I mean. I'm not sure if I can poison them. Be nice to know. But. Kamai's the last one, so let's switch out his weapon. For. That. There we go. So we don't want to lose this enemy. I forgot to change them after doing the boss thing. That's my problem now. Ugh. <laughs> uh, Waka, yeah, let's get you out. And we'll do the same for you. Where's the two? Oh, I just saw it. Sorted, we got the Mandragora. One of the... They're all quite tough enemies in this area. They're all quite big enemies with a lot of HP, like you just saw. Most of them, anyway. Not all of them. Okay, where's the Mandragora? I got my list. There. So many more. We got one... Two, three, four, five... Six... Seven more enemies to find, and three of them are... Hidden away in an area that we can't get to a sec. Won't be long, but... I don't think we need MP Sphere right now. No, we don't. Better heal up a bit. That'll do. This area is quite spread out. In that you'll never really know which way to go unless you try an experiment. Ooh, Dark Flan! Remember we missed White Wind from Baron and Yenke? Barak and... Oh, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean. Well, you can get white la white wind from the dark flan, and another enemy around you, as well as in the next area you can encounter it more often. You get mighty guard, the other one. And I want to thank Virkan, someone from YouTube, who does let's plays now and again, as well as who is a current. He's another let's player on YouTube. They both told me that if you miss them from Buran and Yenke, then yeah, you can do it. Yeah. So. No point doing anything with him. However, let's get the armor break on the go. You need to use holy against this guy if you have it yet. I don't, unfortunately. So, just gonna have to try and wing it a bit. White wind, by the way, I didn't actually say what it was, did I? It's a move that heals each of your characters. And it's pretty good because there's an overdrive. So, you know, they make sure it's pretty good. Who have we used? Yuna, Riku... Let's get Yuna out and get rid of that poison. It's getting that double cast doesn't work for white magic. This is amazing. Wow! So, is that edible? <laughs> I love the little commentaries that they give out sometimes. Lulu's last. Ooh, white wind. Funny enough. Wasn't very good when he used it, though. Ah, well, Lulu missed out, but no time to doesn't really matter. Let's go. It's not like she can move anyway right now, anyway. Oh, no, we have to do something with her now. We were going to go to Tidus's, wasn't we? Uh, for more speed, I mean. 
Ooh, quick hit. Zoom out a bit, zoom out. All right. Delay Buster. Quick hit. Tidus is going to quick hit, so we might as well go to the end for who. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to go off. How many return spheres do we have left, anyway? Just the one, no? Oh, God. Who's that two again? Fit. Okay, so we've sorted her out. <laughs> it's getting fiddly now that we've got to the end of the speed grid, isn't it? Strangely, I think I do prefer the Crystarium of 13. I know people are going to bash me for that, but... I really think it is. Um, I prefer the linearity of levelling in RPGs. Okay, we can't go up there yet, and I think that's where we need to go. F so, let's go this way. Anything? We need some up there as well. Okay, Araman. This is another enemy we haven't got yet. Grendel, both of them. we got to get both of them. Both a little bit easier than the two enemies we've encountered so far. More typical enemies, maybe. Oh, guys, charging. You know that can't be good. So? I think we'll get rid of the Grendel first. The Araman does do confuse from what I remember. But, ooh, <laughs> okay. But I'd rather get rid of the guy that can do huge fire damage against everyone. I say huge? Oh, shite. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Come on. We need piercing more than anything, but we just haven't got it. I think Riku needs to come back out. Actually, no, let's get Yuna out. Bloody hell, what am I doing? I want to get rid of Confuse. Especially with Kamari, bloody hell. That'd be awful. Oh god, he's off again, is he? Ooh, nearly dead. Not anymore. <laughs> It's so hard capturing some enemies when you haven't got piercing to help you out. <coughs> okay, hold on. As you wish. We'll get the others in the battle soon. Right, Grendel done. So, uh, Lulu, be the last one. Wacker's probably going to be the best considering he's a flying type. Hey, look at that one-hit kill. Might have been a critical, but still. So where do we get then? We got the Araman. Oh, nice level up. And Grendel. So we have got to find... Just one more enemy on dry land in the cave. Because there's some... Yeah. You'll see what, what's coming. Right. I used to have the wrong character. I only need, need a cure. Well done. Two fails in one go. Actually, let's get Kamari back. I want to use the Lux Sphere with him. Because he's going to be an easy one, pretty easy one, to get the ultimate weapon with. And you want to be able to get critical hits as much as possible. So I'm hoping this helps out a little bit. Fingers crossed. Okay, into the water we go. In these situations, you can only use your three water so fighters. Got a job to do, yeah? <laughs> if anything should happen in the water, we're relying on you three. If it gets dangerous, pull out quick. Right. Be careful, okay? Okay, there's three enemies to capture in the water. So we want to make sure we do that. And the other enemy I think we'll get once we get into the next area. I think that might just be easier. I want to ask, what do you think? What do you prefer, longer episodes or shorter episodes? Because once I know that, I can, I can work with it. You know. Okay, she can just steal. 
If got a petrifying weapon with her, she's really good in this water section, but we don't. And we want to capture an enemy, so. Hey, hey, lot of damage. Let's try stealing from the splashes. Frag grenades. Okay. <laughs> Poison. Lovely. Thank God for our bad potions. Ooh, that was some damage too. Yeah, got a mill spike. Just want to catch a splash, you know? Alright, okay. <laughs> One more. Let's just give it a bit quick then. Could use his style to start if we wanted to, I suppose. Wow. Wow, sir. Splasher, mill spike. One more enemy in the water. To nab. The battles are so slow because their animations slow right down in the water. At least Tidus and Wackers do. Apparently Riku, Riku is still pretty quick. Riku, oh my god. Sorted. Really? <laughs> Not a place you want to level grind, by the looks of it. But why would it with only three characters anyway? Trust chest over there. Remember that. <laughs> yeah, man, let's, let it be, let it be. Hm. Even Riku can kill more splashes in one hit. That's just shocking. Met Lamb Guard. Let's see if that's any good defense wise. Uh, nah, we'll keep the extra HP, <laughs> I think. Here we go, we made it to the test. Aim for the centre with Wacker's Bow is not easy. It normally takes me a while, because it's not just the outside, it's more in the inside as well. It takes a sec, you have to... It's just trial and error, you know how it is with these sorts of things. Oh, okay, it's a bit before that then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what? It hit the white. There we go. I'm sure it hit the white the first time, but never mind. Let's get chest chest. Don't run away, Tida. You do it. Level one key sphere. Oh, we need level three. Well, whatever. Level one and level two is a pointless by this point. We've got millions of them already. What that did? I'm not too sure, we'll have to have a look around. Oh, this is the last enemy in the water. So we're definitely going to catch one of them, and then we're going to change over to all of our better weapons and stuff and have an easier time, I think. God, I don't like it when it charges. I don't like it when any enemy charges. Sorted. See what we can steal from them. They look all shiny. It's got to be something good. Water gems. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh oh, he's charging again. It looks like it's every time he's hit. So, like I said, the last one, you can never get... The last time we haven't got, you can never get in the cave. Or you can nab it in next area. In next area, they're more common appearing. So why do it here? Unless you happen to come across one. There's a really tough enemy as well, and I'm not looking forward to it too much. <laughs> funny enough, they hope I haven't missed an enemy now. I don't think so. Um, let me have a look through my list a sec. Right. Right, okay. I want to check over here in case that red 
And in case that trial did anything over here, it shouldn't have done. No. Okay. Let's get back to the party then. I actually ended up using Tidus's Overdrive there. I almost forgot to actually change over to <laughs> the better weapons again. Oh my god. Actually, no. Better not put a Brotherhood on in the water areas, because there will be another one coming up soon as well. Maybe Strength for Swipers then will be good enough for now. Uh, so for 8% they saw. I guess we'll chuck that on. Sleep Touch. Oh, that's what she's got on that the enemies were immune to. <laughs> okay. Come on. Let us out. Let us out. I'm gonna get back to the main party. Yeah. So everyone's back together now, look. Nice. Nothing but there yet. Okay. Yeah. Now we can have a little look around this field grid again. Oh, coming up against Riku. <laughs> okay. My cold's starting to get to me now. I don't know if you can hear it or not. But it is. I forgot to change over the other captured capture. <laughs> yeah, the other weapons. Peace in and strength plus fifteen percent. And finally, can I heal up again? Where are we going now? We haven't been up yet. The stairs here now because we've done the trial look. Should we try down try down this way? Just another arm in there. And a Grendel. Arm and a Grendel it was. Sorted. And now, yeah, another water part that we can't get to. Okay, we'll have to go the other way first then, I suppose. Anyway. Look at the red arrow telling us to go the wrong way. What a shite bag. Right, we leveled up there, Kamari. Accuracy. Well, okay. Can't complain about accuracy by this point, I suppose. Here we go, water part that I was thinking of. And again, down to three characters. It doesn't make it so obvious this time, but you know it is. We should be able to get to those two treasure chests this time, I think. I think. If not, no, looking at the map, it looks like it's straight to the trial. Okay, someone actually leveled up in these shitty EXP areas. <laughs> Strength plus four. Could be handy in these water areas, I suppose. We'll never see another water area in the game, except for an optional bit that we'll be doing later on. Second trial. Hit the three panels simultaneously. Check each size before deciding to descend. It's pretty obvious. You can either look at the size like it's telling you to, send the smallest character to the smallest hole, or go by colour, which I always go by colour. Riku is orangey red on the sphere grid. Down. No, she's green. What am I talking about? She's green. Tidus is blue, and Waka is orange. We got red, but I think that's because of the colour of the water. Changing it a bit. Just, just, come on, what we go yet? Level 3, please. Fortune Sphere. Well, okay, I can live with that. I'll see you back at the main party. Okay, we're back at the main party. I want to check something out the set to see exactly what that did. We can go up there to the exit if we want to. I'm pretty sure you can just go now. But we're doing some other stuff. So, let's see what else we can level. A bit more MP. Might be okay for him right now, actually. How's that? Magic defense plus four. I'm going to go for it. God knows, could be handy. Vision plus four, I think that's it. Not oh, Tidus as well. Hey. Just need to figure out where that... I think we can go swimming to the east now. Ugh. Can we? Can we go across now? We can, because the boulders are there, because we did the trial. This, like I said probably a million times is optional and it'll get some treasure. Hopefully a level 3 key sphere. That's what I'm hoping for and that's why I'm doing it.
What have we got? What have we got? Recovery ring. I think that's HP stroll. Return sphere. That could be handy as well, actually. Could be. I thought it was going to be another trial, but nope. I took the coward's way out and just fled from that battle. Can't be bothered. Seriously. I'm gonna check one last little area. See there's another chest just you can get here. Wait, more shooters. <laughs> I don't want to see them right now. They give decent AP. And considering the rest of the bosses in the game now, the mandatory ones at least, are pretty tough. The difficulty has gone up, definitely. We need as much AP as possible by now, don't we? No magic defense. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. We haven't gotten two level threes, have we? One. There's only one we need. Don't know what I'm talking about. Here we go, because we did trial number two, probably, we can get across here. Pep talk. Oh no, because we got so many weapons, we actually have to start discarding. That can be handy better than some of the crap he has anyway, so let's get rid of the Hunter's Sword for it. I need to get to a shop and start selling shit, I really do. I'm surprised that we haven't seen the Behemoth in here. Because I normally do run into him now and again, and he's normally the enemy that can really take your party down, really take your party down really quickly, and suddenly, when you're near the end of the dungeon, you haven't saved all the way through. <sighs> yeah. It can be a pain in the ass, the behemoth. You've seen him in other Final Fantasies, pretty much the same. Just fleeing from the battles and being stupid for doing it. They'll be upon us soon. She has sent fiends to test our summoner's strength. Who is she? Unaleska. Lady Unaleska. In Xanarkin, she awaits the arrival of the strongest. She is still alive? As much as Micah and Seymour. I see. Lost your nerve? No. Nothing frightens me now. <laughs> Braska would be proud. Then I must not let him down. No, you must not. Oh. No, you must not. <laughs> Bloody battles, encounter it. Oh, encounter it at Mount Gagazette. Oh my god. <laughs> it's bad. It's so bad. But we got through. We are now done with Mount Gagazette. We just need to do the last little bit of path, where there will be about 10 more encounters, I expect, on our last little tiny bit. <laughs> anyway, this has been Greeny XI. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. When we go for a very tough boss. And I'm planning to get through the whole of the next area. Up to the final trials of the game. The final cloister trials of the game, which... Can be easy if you've got good memory. If not, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, folks. I'll see you again in a bit.